The new Control and Safety Unit BT300, a simple and intuitive technology of huge potential. The new Control and Safety Unit BT300 controls and monitors forced draft burners. It has been implemented on the Vectron range, on the Nextron range and on the new Eco Evo range, allowing a total uniformity of programming and setting. It is equipped with a fault detection system and it allows the modulation of the burner capacity by piloting the air flap and the gas flap or by adjusting the fuel flow. Moreover, it can be connected to a frequency converter when mounted. The control and safety unit BT300 is simple and intuitive. It makes use of a display, a five-button keyboard, and the Elcogram language, consisting of pictograms and numerical data. This ensures a quick reading and a total understanding. In this video, we will go through the whole procedure and learn how to adjust a gas burner Vectron 6 modulo. The setting is carried out in two phases. First phase of pre-setting without flame. Second phase of combustion fine-tuning in presence of flame. To know the capacity of the boiler and the input power at furnace, read the technical data from the boilerplate applied. Then for the burner, refer to the technical manual supplied with it. From the home screen, press the Enter key to access the main menu. Menu 1. Setting the servo motors. Menu 2. Display of the setting points of the servo motors. Menu 3. Retrieving faults. Menu 4. Statistical data. Menu 5. Setting and modification of standard configurations. Menu 6. Setting and modification of configurations for industrial applications. First phase. Pre-setting without flame. To access the adjustment phases, at first without and then with flame, enter menu 1. The system asks you to enter the access code 2811. Insert it by using the down and up arrows. To move to the second digit, press the right arrow. Repeat the procedure until the last digit has been entered and confirm the access code by the Enter key. Once you enter in the first phase, the display shows you the factory settings for the positions of air flap and gas flap. You can insert the new values for the positions of the flaps that in this case can be found in the manual of the burner. In order to enter or edit a value, first of all it is necessary to move the cursor to the point to be changed by using the arrow keys. Up and down or right and left, press the Enter key to activate the editing mode and then by the arrow keys, left and right, increase or decrease the value until you reach the desired one. Upon reaching the right value, press the Enter key to confirm it and to move to the next point. Continue to enter the values from the technical manual, as done in the previous step. Warning! The system automatically performs a linear interpolation from one point to another and proposes values on the basis of an ideal curve. Modify those values according to the burner manual. Press the Enter key to access the editing mode before entering any value. See flashing position and press Enter key again to confirm it. Proceed to insert all data provided in the burner manual. 
As seen previously, the system proposes some values on the basis of the ideal curve. Continue to modify those values by following the manual. After finishing entering the data from the manual, you have three options. By confirming the first symbol, the data will be saved and you can go to the next step. If you want to exit the menu without saving the presettings, position the cursor on the second symbol and press the Enter key. It is also possible to delete all settings to reinsert them. To do this, position the cursor on the third symbol and press the Enter key. Confirm the entered values by pressing the Enter key on the first symbol. Then on the next screen, save them by pressing the Enter key on the disk symbol. The burner is ready to start. Now the burner is waiting for the boiler heating request. As soon as there is a boiler heating request, the burner starts its pre-ventilation phase. The air flap is fully open and the air pressure switch closes the contact. The system checks the gas valves for any leaks. The countdown is displayed in the bottom right-hand corner. After this check, the display shows again the countdown of the pre-purge phase, which is still in progress. The air flap switches to the ignition position. The spark appears. The gas valves open. Awaiting flame signal. The flame appears. The burner starts. Second phase, combustion fine-tuning in presence of flame. Continue to use the display and the five-button keyboard to modify the previously entered data to obtain an optimal combustion. At this stage, you will also use the combustion analyzer to check the combustion data. On the basis of the results of the analyzer, Modify the values of air and gas flaps. In this case, there is an excess of gas. Act on the position of the gas flap. Reduce the gas flow to optimize the combustion values. To obtain an optimal combustion, check the results given by the analyzer and use the keyboard to retouch the position of the air and gas flaps. You can move to the next step. Even in this case, reduce the gas flow. In this setting point, open the air flap wider and decrease the gas flow by closing the gas flap a little more. Verify again the values given by the combustion analyzer. In this case, decrease the gas flow. Continue to check the analyzer results and modify the setting data according to the combustion values. In this setting point, increase the airflow. By accessing the next point, the system proposes again its values on the basis of the curve automatically calculated. Modify them according to the combustion analyzer results. Continue to adjust the combustion values for all setting points as you've done so far, always checking the analyzer. In this phase, retouch the points previously set from the technical manual and fill in the intermediate ones until you complete them all. Warning! Each point must be defined. It is not possible to skip any points, unlike in the first pre-setting phase without flame. 
If you have software for the remote management of the control unit, the phases of presetting the curve without flame and the combustion fine-tuning in presence of flame can also be performed from a PC. Now the curve is complete with all its points, you can move on to the next step. Bring the burner from minimum to maximum output to verify the stability of the flame. Now you have three options. Restart the burner again without entering the access code. Or you can save the inserted data and the burner will run in automatic mode or exit and repeat the whole procedure from the beginning. If the data is correct, save it and the burner will run in automatic mode. From now on, it will be driven by the boiler thermostat or the temperature controller and not by the BT300. The procedure requires written records of all setting values in the protocol that will be duly filled in and signed before being given to the end user. Fault Simulation The Control and Safety Unit BT300 is equipped with detection of failures. According to the parameters of setting, the controller detects and reports any faults. We have simulated three situations that can lead to a burner lockout to see which information the controller provides. The first signs of a lockout are the flashing red light and the padlock symbol on the screen. From this screen, press the Enter key to access the main menu. Then access Menu 3. In this case, a failure of the air pressure switch during the operation of the burner is displayed. The screen provides the pictogram of the fault and the fault code that can be found in the manual of the BT300 in the session Fault Memory. In addition, it displays the conditions of the burner when the fault occurred, such as ionization current, position of the air flap, position of the gas flap, operating time of the burner before the fault. In the second case, a lack of flame to the end of the safety time is displayed. As in the previous case, the screen provides the pictogram, the fault code, and the conditions of the burner when the fault occurred. In the third and last situation, a fault in the safety valve is displayed. Even in this case, the display provides a pictogram, error code, and conditions of the burner when the fault occurred. Benefits of the BT300 controller The benefits of the BT300 controller are many. First of all, a unified, simple and intuitive adjusting system from 11 kilowatts to 10 megawatts. All adjustments can be performed by means of the keyboard and the display. The Elkogram language, composed of pictograms and numerical data, allows for quick reading. From the operational point of view, the BT300 controller is equipped with a fault detection system. It allows steady cycle times and the modulation of the burner capacity by piloting the air flap and the gas flap or by adjusting the fuel flow. It can be combined with accessories such as the oxygen probe, CO probe and the frequency converter that guarantee a more efficient combustion and energy savings. All this is particularly suitable to tailor each installation to customer preferences. 
In addition, thanks to the remote software, you can carry out the adjustment even from a PC. Combustion experts.